Hello, my name is Jen. I am the unorthodox seller. I am from Scotland in the United Kingdom. I hope that you're well. This is a tarot card reading for any Scorpios out there, whether you have Scorpio as your sun, moon, or rising sign. It's designed for mid April and it is also timeless, so if it pops up, up out with that time on your feed please keep watching because it might have a message in it for you today we are going to do a reading which is about what is um, what you should be focusing on what is holding you back so we shall see as to what you need to be focusing on what's holding you back or stopping you what you can do about it what you can't do about it and the outcome so let's see what we've got so what you need to be focusing on is a king of cups cups are all about love and emotions and the King of Cups is about being a supportive leader, um, about tolerance and being, being self-assured. I think with the way that things are astrologically at the moment, I think that perhaps everybody might be um, struggling a little bit with um a tolerance um energies are running incredibly high we've got lots and lots of planets all sort of stuck together in um a, a couple of star signs zodiac signs um and especially with the eclipse energetically it's all just a bit bonkers at the moment so if you are feeling a bit impatient and a bit intolerant this is telling you to open your heart calm down and see the love that's around you and in yourself as well the thing that's holding you back oh more cups the thing that's holding you back is the two of cups I never do love readings and every time I do one of these it seems to end up being kind of a love reading that it's this card is always about somebody rather than something that's that's stopping you. Two of Cups. This is the Two of Cups is about sharing your life with somebody. It can be sharing a business with somebody. Um but it's something that makes you happy or should be making you happy. Why would the Two of Cups be holding you back from having that supportive, tolerant feel and feeling in your life, atmosphere in your life? Let's see what it recommends as to, oh goodness me, what's holding you, what you can be doing about it, what you can be doing to get yourself into this tolerant, stable situation. You get the Six of Cups. Again, more emotion. Six of Cups, Scorpio, is about reminiscing. It's about going back to more innocent times and it's about wanting to move away from all of the hustle and bustle and things that stop you being happy and being in this stable, supportive, balanced, loving lifestyle. 
and really going back to innocence. Butterflies are about purity and beauty. So the guidance from spirit is that you have to look for the good in things, step out of this complex sort of duality that you have with somebody or something else at the moment because it's clouding your vision and it's not letting you have this simpler, more innocent love and life that I think that you're maybe looking for. The card, which is in the position of something that you can't control, is the Princess of Swords, typically the Page of Swords. This is about being guarded by things that have happened in your past and emotions which have been with you in the past. She's holding a sword down um, and she's saying, um, she's pointing down, she's also pointing up and that is the sign of as above, so below. And that means what you believe will will come to you and will happen to you if we're positive um in our heads then we will bring positivity and goodness to our lives and it will almost multiply around us it will it will attract more goodness but if we think negatively or have negative things around us, as in the things that are around us are the so as so below, um, and the as above is what is going on in our heads. If we have a negative mindset, we end up with negative things happening to us. If we are surrounded by negative things, it gives us a negative mindset. If we surround ourselves with positive things, Perhaps this innocence and this return to uh, a more simplified existence where you're not complicated by this other energy which seems to be stopping you having this, um, this tolerance and empathy in your life. What you believe will, will come into manifestation. So this card's in the position of what you can't change. And I think that you will always be a little guarded by things that have happened to you in the past. And whilst you do have to accept it, you also have to see that there is this opportunity here for you. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that there's a, a scroll in her hand there? And it's just hovering above, just out of her reach currently. Because she's too busy looking back and sort of feeling a bit hurt by whatever's gone on. Is it that, because if you see she's actually pointing down to this card, is this a relationship which is split up? And you're beating yourself up. You can see that there's the octopus arm do they have arms around um this king of cups's ankle and something has got a hold on you which is stopping you from being this happy self-assured sort of chilled out you know tolerance and empathy is all about being chilled and open and cool isn't it um and I do wonder as to whether it is a relationship which you might have split up recently from, which is stopping you getting this, this peace within you. Because it is saying, look into that innocence and that, that happiness that you used to have.
you know, these are children. It's saying, think of happier times when you weren't caught up in this relationship. Because there's the opportunity there. You just have to free yourself from this octopus. And I'm guessing one of these energies was the octopus, which is stopping you moving on. Wow. Well, the outcome. Loads of cups here. The outcome is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the ultimate kind of happiness. It's the end of a journey and there's a family there. They've got a beautiful house. They're watching the sun setting. There's Ten Cups radiating out of the sunset. The children are playing. There's flowers in the garden. What more can you ask for, really, other than maybe a glass of wine in their hands, if you me. Um, and, yeah, it's just a really, really beautiful outcome. There's just going to be such happiness for you. Whatever this opportunity, this thing is that's here, this idea and this opportunity, it's going to be fantastic. You just have to stop living in this past and see things that, you know, see the, the innocence and the little beauty and everything. Um, you know, never take anything for granted. Children see things through wide eyes, innocent eyes. They don't see things. They're not clouded by the experiences and sometimes the bitterness that, that we, we get within ourselves when we're adults. And I do think that you need to sort of almost lift this veil, which is holding you back and causing this this sort of slight um, anxiety from from the past. And it's going to be amazing, really amazing for you, Scorpio. I hope that's been useful. If it's resonated, I'd love it if you would like and um, pop a comment below. It certainly, um, I get really excited when I get a comment, even when somebody likes it, to be honest, at the moment, because I'm quite new to YouTube, so I'm still trying to grow my channel. Um, it's the little things that you get excited about, which is what this reading's telling you. You need to get excited about the little things again, because it's going to bring such brilliance to you. I'm going to sign off because I can't stop talking. Um, take care Scorpios, um, enjoy the rest of April, I will probably do another reading um, before we get into May and I'll speak to you soon, take care, bye!